Now that we're a little bit more comfortable with placing text, there's another feature here in InDesign called threading text. And we use threading when we want to thread text, obviously, from one text frame to the other, just like we saw in our prior movie. So I want to dive into that just a little bit deeper for this movie. What I've done was used our standard um, four column layout that we created in our last movie. And I'm just going to continue off of that. I've placed a blank frame, two of them actually, one that would maybe typically represent where I'm going to put an image in my document. I'm going to hit Control D on my keyboard to bring up the Place dialog box. I'm going to grab my CB Richard Ellis placeholder text here, and I'm just going to click in the first column. Now, the reason why it stops here is because I've actually created some text frames. And by placing here, just in this one single frame, then it is just going to fill that one frame. Now, what if I want this to thread from that frame into this next frame and into the four frames I have below it? I'm going to hit Control Z on my keyboard. And that brings back up that placeholder text that I have. But I'm going to get rid of that for a moment. I'm going to highlight my first frame. And we can see by highlighting it that I have this little node here. And I want to click on that once and then click here to thread that document. But if I'm just working on a plain template like this that I've set up, how do I know that those text frames are actually threaded together? Well, one, one way that I can do that is to come up to the View menu under Extras and I want to tell InDesign to show the threads. So when I do that, you'll see that InDesign places this little blue line from one box to another. So I'm going to grab this one and I'm going to thread it to that one, this one, thread it to that one. And there is an easier way to do this as you saw in the last movie if you've been following along, but for this I'm just doing it this way so we can see what our frames look like. So I know the next time I place text, if I hit Control D and bring in my text, and just drop it in there that it's going to flow evenly between all of those frames for me. Now, what if I want to unthread any of these frames? For instance, maybe I want to get rid of this last one. All I have to do is come up to the node and double click it to get rid of that thread. Now my text frame still remains there but I simply unlinked it so it's no longer linked to this family of text frames that we have. And that's just an easy way to thread text frames here in InDesign.